This video is on other malicious indicators. Besides network, host, and application-related malicious indicators, we have other malicious indicators. Other malicious indicators are based on social engineering attacks. Social engineering attacks involve human involvement and can involve someone calling you or befriending you to get inside a building or to get some sort of information. Most social engineering attacks today are a form of phishing, whaling, vishing, smishing, we also have physical forms of social engineering attack as well like tailgating and shoulder surfing, but it is not as common. Phishing is simply using email to lure victims to either share information or to have them click on an attachment or a link to install a malware. The most commonly used tactic in phishing is obfuscated links, where the URL has simply been modified to conceal the legitimate location of a website or a server. Bad URLs are usually detected and caught, but if the URL is obfuscated, then it won't be able to. There are countless ways to obfuscate URLs like using URL shorteners, redirecting, doppelganging, and mixing. And this is why a lot of companies use multi-factor authentication so that even if your password is compromised, you are safe even after clicking on a malicious website that looks like a legitimate website like a fake PayPal website. However, the best way to prevent this is to read the email carefully and never click on any links. It's best to type the actual URL yourself instead of clicking whatever it is in the email. The most common indicators of phishing attempts or any social engineering attacks are words that raises urgency like must pay now, urgent, alert, account will delete, etc. And links that states things like click here now, as well as spelling and grammatical errors, any attachments, and any unknown senders. Oh, yeah.